All right, give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. Sorry about that. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let's get back on here. All right, there we go. Bam, bam, bam. We good, family? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Guys, let me know if you can hear me. Press one if you can hear me. I'm saying press one if you're good. We good? Okay, perfect. Sorry about that. Yeah, that was... Uh, so, remember I was telling this story. Uh, I was telling this story last week. Like, sometimes I go through my drawers, and then I just see, like, open electronics just sitting around. And so I had this other mic that was still in the box, but it was in the box for a reason, because it was not working. But I forgot that it was not working, so I tried to use it just now. And it's still not working, obviously. So got my new mic, so we're good to go. So sorry about that. So guys, like, share, subscribe as you come to the chat room. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Go to dynastamir.com. Tours, again, tours. If you are interested in joining us in Sierra Leone, hit me up. Again, if you're interested in joining us in Sierra Leone, hit me up. Looking forward to it. We'll love to. Love for you guys to join. Uh, Sierra Leone, April. Nigeria, August. Guys still working on the site? It will be done soon. Like Alexis said. Alexis said she's been working on her site now for two months. I've paid somebody to work on my site, and it's been almost two months. But a lot of it is my fault because I'm very particular. And, you know, he has other uh, jobs in the queue, and I've just been kind of Change this, change that. Go back and change this. Okay, I got to get this ready. So it's coming together, family. It is coming together. Again, it's coming together. But I hope all is well. Um, hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Um, hope you guys have an exciting weekend coming up. You know, hope you guys do something exciting. You know, go eat plenty of good food. You know, I love to eat. So. I'm going to be eating somewhere, okay? I will be eating somewhere, and I am looking forward to it. Y'all ain't deep in here today. See, see, when we ratchet, when we controversial, well, I'm transitioning to Webflow. Okay. Alex, I need to check that out, Webflow. Is it is it the um, where you just buy the template and just kind of just plug and play? Oh, it's NBA All-Star Weekend. Okay. My team, the Sacramento Kings, suck. In fact, I'm I'm this close. I'm this close to just firing the Sacramento Kings. You know, again, Sacramento teams is my king is my team. I was born and raised in Sacramento, but they've been so sorry lately. And the decisions by general manage by the general management of that team, the operations of that team, they obviously do not want to win. Okay. They don't care about winning. So I'm this close to just quitting and getting a new team. So, as you guys know, I used to be a Raiders fan. But Raiders left L.A. I'm sorry, Raiders left the Bay Area, left Cali. They're in Vegas now, so I'm like, forget the Raiders. So I kind of claim the 49ers. Again, I claimed the 49ers, but I'm on the East Coast now. So I'm this close to just becoming a Miami Dolphins, Miami Heat fan. I'm thinking about just switching everything to Miami. I don't want to be a I don't want to be a Braves fan. I don't want to be a Hawks fan. I don't want to be a a Falcons fan. But I am considering switching everything to Miami. So in Cal, so right now, Oakland A's, Sacramento Kings, and the 49ers. But I'm this close to just saying, you know what? Let's just keep it all in one city. Let's keep it all in Miami. What you guys think? Should I do that? Would I be a sellout if I did that? Because again, this Kings suck. They're just terrible. 
Oakland A's, I, I, you know, I guess they're doing okay. But the Kings suck. So I'm this close to switching everything to Miami, to Florida. That's what I'm considering. Guys, what do you think in the chat room? Again, what do you think in the chat room? But Alexis, I'm going to check out that web flow in fact let's put let's pull up web flow real quick guys let's see what's let's see what's uh let's see what how web flow is flowing hold on one second let's pull it let's pull up i'm interested in seeing some web flow let's see what they got hold on web flow a visual way to build okay is this I mean, is this kind of like, all right, Alexis, this isn't as, this seems a little bit more difficult than uh, like your, just your typical Wix or your, uh, this looks like a little more involved and you have to be an expert. You know, this de this definitely doesn't look like a, uh, seem like a Wix situation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what we got here, guys. Let's see what Alexis is working with. Let's see what Alexis is working with, you guys. Hold on. Let's check this out real quick. Your story, your way without coding. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Okay. Damn, Alexis, I wish you would have told me about this back in December. So I, I blame, listen, I blame Alexis for not telling me about Webflow back in December. Y'all, it's Alexis's fault. Oh, this is dope. So everyone, I blame Alexis Oh man, listen, I blame Alexis. See, they were saw I usually use Squarespace or I usually use Wix, right? But people start talking me into, man, you got to use WordPress. So I said, okay. So I hired somebody. But this Webflow is dope. Okay, I'm going to play with this a little bit. Let's see here. Webflow, $20 a month, $20 a month. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, you just found out about a couple days ago. Okay, so I won't be too hard on you. I won't be too hard on you. But let's let's jump into the topic, Flutterwave. Guys, I've been telling you about the amount of venture capitalism, right, that is pouring into Nigeria. So Flutterwave. Flutterwave. It's got $250 billion, y'all. I'm sorry, million. $250 million now is evaluated at $3 billion. And I've been telling you guys, you know, whenever I bring up Nigeria, oh, what about Boko Haram? What about Boko Haram? Dinos, what about the Boko Haram? I'm like, look, if these companies are investing in Nigeria at this rate, obviously something is there, okay? Obviously something is there. The way these companies, or these venture capitalists are investing and pouring money into Nigeria Something is there, all right? Well, Dinos, what about Boko Haram? You know, the North. I mean, uh, you do not understand the amount of money that's being poured into Nigeria Tech right now. 
Again, you do not understand the amount of money that's being poured into Nigeria tech right now, okay? Now, we could argue, we could have the FBA versus, you know, 80, 80s versus, uh, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the immigrant arguments, but at the end of the day, all right, every, the, these, these venture capitalists, these corporations, they're looking into up and coming, they're looking to invest the up and coming markets, okay? Again, they're looking to invest into up emerging markets. They're looking to invest into emerging markets. Okay, I don't care. I mean, you got to get over your feelings about, you know, you know, your sharecroppers. You know, your, your mom was, your gra great grandma was a sharecropper and bones are buried in America. You got to get over that. All right. The money, you got to follow the paper trail. You got to follow the money. And right now is being poured into tech. In Africa is being poured into crypto. Let me back up for a second. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. But right now, as of right now, okay, the investment, the money, the venture capitalism is being ventured into Africa. All right, that's what's going on. Now, I'm just trying to keep you guys up to date. You know, we can have fun, we can talk about weeds. You know, we could talk about this group, that group, beefs, all that. We can have fun. But at the end of the day, it's about securing uh, your, your legacy, securing your family's legacy, okay? And everyone is looking to Africa and emerging markets like India. But we Africans, so we're going to focus on Africa. And in Africa is Nigeria. You don't understand. And we're only in February. You don't understand again. Man, well, that the Boko Haram in, in Nigeria. Boko Haram. Boko Haram, Dynasty. Boko Haram. You know, the Africans don't like us. You know, they don't like us. Boko Haram. You know, it, whatever. This is where the money's going. Okay. This is where the money's going. Let's jump into the, uh, yeah, my, well, that is my bones is buried in America. And we were sharecroppers. We were sharecroppers here in America. Hold on, what's going on here? All right, here we go. African fintech photo wave triples valuation to over $3 billion after $250 million Series D. Guys, Akon said in the interview like a couple years ago, the amount of Fortune 500 companies that's going to be created out of Africa. Well, since they're African, I don't know if they'll be part, be considered Fortune 500 because they're not American-based companies. I don't, I don't know how that works, but you know what I'm saying. He said the amount of billionaire, billion dollar valuation companies that are, be, that are going to be coming out of Africa in the next 10 to 15 years. That's what he said. He said out of his mouth, you can have a billion dollar company in less than 10 years in Africa. Probably less than that. But African FinTech Photo Wave has raised $250 million in a Series D round that tripled the company's valuation to over $3 billion in just 12 months. In March 2021, the San Francisco headquartered in Lagos based startup raised $170 million in a Series C round from Tiger Global and Avenir at a valuation of $1 billion. The latest financing, which confirms a Bloomberg scoop from October, brings Flutterway's total raise since its inception six years ago to $475 million. It raised a $35 million Series B in 2020 and a 20 million Series A in 2018. At $3 billion, Flutter Wave is currently the highest valued African startup, surpassing the $2 billion valuation set by SoftBank backed FinTech Opay and FTX backed cross border payments platform Chipper Cash. So, right now, okay, so we're dealing with these startups in Nigeria. It's focused on uh, fintech is financial tech so payment 
like payment processing, merchant services. That's where the money's at. Led by founder and CEO Olubinga GB Abula, our Yoruba brother. Federway facilitates cross-border payments, transactions of small to large businesses in Africa via, via one API. Guys, so I actually set up an account because, you know, I have a Nigerian bank account. Now, I'm going to mess around with it, but I, I, I just today I set up a Federway account, so I'm going to go in and, and, and explore. The company also helps businesses outside Africa expand their operations on the continent. Some of its international clients include Booking.com, Flywire, and Uber. Futterwave has seen astronomical growth since TechCrunch covered its unicorn round last year. At the time, the payments company said it processed $140 million transactions worth over $9 billion. A year later, the African payments giant with infrastructure reach across 34 countries on the continent now processes 200 million transactions worth more than 16 billion. Goodness. The number of businesses using its platform has also increased. In March 2021, it was $290,000. Now it's $900,000. 900,000, I'm sorry. In March 2021, it was 290,000. Now it's 900,000. Businesses globally use Flutterwave to process payments in 150 currencies across different payment modes. Local and international cars, mobile wallets, bank transfers, and its consumer product barter. Guys, I'm trying to tell you. Hmm. I'm trying to tell you. Like I just, I literally just signed up for a Flutterwave account with the tour company, and we're gonna see how it works. So I, I, I don't think they're active in Sierra Leone yet, but they are in Nigeria because I was trying to sign up for it in Sierra Leone as well, but I couldn't. So I signed up in Nigeria. I still got to go to Nigeria and, and update some information with the tour company because st- my the, the uh, business is still registered under uh, the former name, Search for Uhuru. But guys, there you go. There you go. The amount of money. Well, here we go. We want to change our focus from just Africa to emerging markets and eventually the U.S., the U.K., Europe. So Flutterwave is similar to like Square, Stripe, PayPal. Like I was in the back office. You can um, like for your, oh, here we go. So I was in the back office just roaming around. And you could create, like your company could create their own debit card, which you could give to your employees, like in the back office of the app. Like it's, 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 it's pretty dope. Yeah, so Flutterwave, if you're in Nigeria, go ahead and check them out. Like I said, I, um, you know, I planned on, um, I plan on using them. I already signed up for them, but again, I just got to get some stuff straightened out. When I go back to Nigeria, when I go back to Nigeria, yeah, man, FBA is, I mean, not FBA. Sorry, not FBA. I was reading a comment. But yeah, while we, we're sitting here arguing on that's why I like that's why I have to keep it balanced. Okay. Yeah, we can come on here and have fun and arg- and argue. But I mean, like, listen, we're about to get surpassed. So I mean, I'm just saying. ADOS, FBA, we're still crying about not being recognized in the NFL, or I don't know. You know, we're still crying about racism in the NFL. Meanwhile, these African startups are getting $3 billion valuation. And guys, the year's not even, I mean, we're just in February. Again, we're just in February. And what do you have to understand, too? These, the, the, the founders and presidents, CEOs of these African startups, they're young. I'm talking about 40 and younger, mid-40s. Like, they're young. Yeah, you guys have no idea what's going on on the continent because you're busy arguing with African Im- immigrants about the crumbs that fall from the table of white people. That's what's going on. 
And I just want to keep you guys abreast. You know, we can come on here, we can have fun, we can debate. You know, is you the Omex? You know, is you the real Omex? Who are the black Cherokees? We was the black Eskimos. That's fine. That's all fine and dandy. We can have fun. We can debate. You know, who's the black Eskimos? You know, I'm Choctaw Indian. Uh, let's let's see here. What else? Uh, we was already here in America. Here's a new one. We 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 were the original Dutch. You know, we was the original Dutch. That's a new one. We were the original Dutch. Okay, fine, no problem. Listen, we can do that once in a while, but it's time to get serious. And the money is going to these fintech startups in Africa. That's where the money's going. So you got to follow that money. That's all I'm saying, you guys. That's all I'm saying about that. All right. So Federal check it out. Uh, when I go back to Nigeria in May and get my accounts situated and straightened out, I will be setting up, well, finishing up my Flutter Wave account. So when we go to Sierra Leone, oh man, Alex, I hear, you know, the Nile, the Mississippi River is the Nile River. Oh man, I didn't hurt it all. I didn't hurt it all. Meanwhile, in Africa, right, these under 40, under 40, 45 and younger entrepreneurs with these fintech startups startups are becoming billionaires but we're sitting here arguing that we're from turtle island and damn it this white man this 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 racist white man of the nfl won't give me a coaching job that's what we're sitting here arguing about meanwhile in nigeria you got 45 year old and under entrepreneurs building billion dollar corporations And FBA just I don't I don't know what their issue is. They want to cut themselves off from that. Yeah, we're gonna have our disagreements. Okay, we're gonna have our disagreements. But goodness, this right here is promising. And I'm telling you right now, let's just be honest. No FBA startups is gonna get three billion dollars. Because we're too busy arguing. We're too busy crying about the NFL. That's what we're doing. But anyways, let's move on. I digress. I digress. Next topic. I digress. Next topic. Dan, Dan Gote, the richest black man on the planet. I didn't think Kenya would be more corrupt than Nigeria. Why Dan Gote dropped plans to set up multi-billion dollar plant in Kenya? Africa's richest man, Nigerian tycoon Aliko Dangote, net worth is estimated to be U.S. $19.2 billion that according to the official Bloomberg Billionaires Index website, the tycoon who turned 65 in April is the CEO of Dangote Group, a conglomerate that has grown tentacles into manufacturing, food processing, telecommunic telecommunication, real estate, and banking. His cement pan-African investment has the capacity to produce over 50 million tons 
and its basis is more than 10 African countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. And these countries include Nigeria, South Africa, Senegal, Cameroon, Ethiopia, Zambia, Tanzania, Congo, Brazzaville, Sierra Leone, Togo, and Ghana. Listen, there's so much Dangote cement in Africa. Like, I literally see these women on the street using Dangote cement bags as purses. No cap. Despite being a continental economic powerhouse, Kenya misses out of the list. This is contrary to reports by the Industrialization Ministry that the Nigerian entrepreneur have been given a nod for prospecting limestone in Kitu County. This is part of Dangote's $1.4 billion partnership with a Chinese company called Sonoma International Engineering. That will see Dangote see it expand in various countries across Africa. According to celebrated journalist Jeff Coinage, Dangote informed him that some corrupt government officials frustrated his plan to set up a firm in Kenya as they demanded kickbacks. <laughs> Coinage revealed details of his conversation with Dangote in 2018 after he attended his, Dangote's daughter's wedding. I asked him, al Haj, when are you coming back to Kenya? And he said, Jeff, there are people in that place, Kenya, who put greed and personal interests ahead of national interests. Ooh. I think Kenya would be more corrupt than Nigerians. Whoa. Jeff revealed in one of his radio shows. As you, if you guys don't know, then Gote is actually coming here to America as well. He's coming here to America as well. So I don't know if you guys know or remember or notice that a couple of years ago, there used to be a there used to be a lot of Dan Gote uh, commercials on CNN. According to Dan Gote's uh, CMS official website, the company was founded in 1981, just a few years after Dan Gote had began trading in various household products such as sugar, flour, salt, and pasta. In his mating days, Dan Gote Cement operated two term, termini in Nigeria's Port Harcourt and Appa for importation and distribution of cement. In 1990s, the cement company became a fully fledged integrated manufacturing plant and acquired Bennu Cement Factory from the federal government in 2000. Two years later, Dan Gote acquired another industry, the Obajanya Cement PLC. By 2007, Obajanya Cement Plant had a capacity of producing 5 million tons of cement annually. In 2010, Obajani and Bennu Cement were merged and renamed Dangote Cement PLC. It is this same year that Dangote Cement was listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Expansion into Africa. Because Africa is gradually expanding, the idea of Dangote's expansion was to tap into the high demand for cement across the continent. Over the past 10, last 10 years, Dangote Cement has risen to unprecedented levels and below are some of its subsidiaries in various countries in the estimated annual outputs here we go ghana one million tons south africa two industries with a total output of 4.5 million tons senegal 1.5 million tons cameroon 1.5 million tons ethiopia 2.5 million tons zambia 1.5 million tons congo brazzaville 1.5 million tons tanzania 3 million tons sierra leone 0 0.7 million import terminal Togo, 1.5 million tons. So there we go. Dan Gote, y'all. Dan Gote. Dan Gote. There we go. So yeah, we weren't going to stay on here long. I just want to come on and give you guys some good news. Some good news. So... Guys, I hope all is well. Have a beautiful night. Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy your Friday. So next time, family, dinosaur search for Huru. Peace.